Mm. No, I don't do that to you. No, you don't, but you I know don't how do to. that to you. I know how to, but I'm not going to do that to you when we're having an <laughs> argument. Zainab. And I'm Mia. And welcome to another episode of Sprinkles and Spice. And they say it's a bad idea to work with your best friend. Let's, Let's find, find out today. today. So in the studio today, we have our favorite chefs, co-owners of Birdie's Chicken Shop, and fellow best friends, Nof and Rakan. Hey! hey. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. It's very big. Are you guys? Hey. <laughs> 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 all right, try it, try it again. Yeah. 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 One, two, three. Hey. <laughs> and that's their impression so, of us. So we love it. <laughs> How are you guys? Good. We're good. We're good. Thank you for coming today. Thank you for having guys, us. Guys, 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 we never thought we'd make it here. We never thought we'd make it this way. <laughs> this is the first duo that we have. Yeah. It's the first time we have four took, people in the studio. It took, it took a month. <laughs> yeah, we literally thought we could never sh- it. Don't expose. Look at my eyes. I'm not ready. I'll do it wherever. It's fine. Rakan was in the group chat, being like, "Is this happening?" Yeah. yeah, he's like, "I will sit on the floor. I don't care." Yeah, I'm not, not desperate. <laughs> All right. Before we get into the conversation, uh, tell us a little bit about Birdie's Chicken Shop. Mm. You guys are our favorite chicken, chicken shop, by the way. It just really, so we're clear. Yeah. Hmm? You guys are our favorite chicken shop of all time. Thank you. Yeah, seriously. Of all thank time? You. Of all time. Of all time. Dumb. I can't slam all the... All of you suck. No. I've been waiting for this moment. This whole life. Ugh. Okay. I'm sorry. I remember when she had it. She did, you guys did enjoy it. I remember your reaction. Yeah. I remember really both good. of your reactions. Our first honestly. meeting, for those who don't know, we met at the Birdie's Chicken Shop and we, we had our meeting over food. <laughs> I think of that fucking sandwich <laughs> every single day <laughs> and the oh rent my God. free. Oh my my God. God. <laughs> it lives and also the apple pie milkshake. <gasps> We, we were literally she's gone now no. okay well this is just me saying it for me you guys are making it special for us when we go <laughs> we're releasing uh, by that time whenever this is going to be out in two weeks and it should mm. be out yeah it's going to be out a katsu sandwich Ooh. a katsu sandwich and uh, I think we're going to yeah we named it are we going to name it that I don't know I don't think you guys understand like I don't care what the food is called I just want to eat it like, I'm not deeping the food name. No, I'm we have deep the name. Do you like katsuri? All right, so it. tell us a bit about uh, Birdie's Chicken Shop. <laughs> <laughs> Birdie's happened. We thought of doing it, Sarlena. We thought about it like last November. Not mm-hmm. this November, in the Gabla. And then we wanted to open up a place together, I think, four years ago. Mm-hmm. But everything that we want to do or the style of cooking that we have, I don't think it's niche, but I don't, and I don't like using the word niche because then the expectation is that most people won't like it. That's what niche is supposed to be. I don't think that most people won't like it. I just don't think enough people have been exposed to different sides of food. And that goes back to, we can talk about it later, about like, you know, which invest or what type of restaurants investors like to invest in and stuff like that. Mm. So we had a couple ideas and then they're all too... Don't cut the burp. Keep it. We were like in the Shisma. And we had the pie shop that we had in mind and some other projects. But it, we don't want investors to come in because they're going to limit uh, like uh, the ideas that we're going to have yeah. or the way we're going to execute it. Yeah. For, uh, we ended up with fried chicken for the fact that in the, I f- we feel like there's a lot of fried chicken restaurants. It's saturated so much. But how can we do something that's saturated and do it differently? And then Better. that way we can get people's yeah. trust and then do the other projects. Mm. Yeah. You you have a, a, is it a slogan? Crispy, not... Crunchy, not crispy. Cr- crunchy, not crispy. Because crispy is not good. Okay, yeah. Crunchy. <laughs> crunchy. That crunch. <laughs> More, I feel like is that everyone... your slogan? Yeah. Or it is, it yeah. is our slogan. In a way, yeah. yeah. Uh, like, nothing against crispy chicken. Like, we all love crispy chicken. But I felt like, we both felt like that. Um, It was just very repetitive. Everyone was going for the exact same texture and flavor. So... We decided to. It's go. not that we prefer crunchy over crispy. Yeah, absolutely. But we not. feel like, and if we're gonna do something that's saturated, 
and something that uh, there's a lot of choices for it obviously how we why would it be a good reason for us to do some uh, for another fried chicken concept it's not because we have a great designer or a great branding uh, perspective or whatever like it needs to be about the food yeah mm-hmm. and the reason why we're opening it is because of the food itself mm-hmm. not because we have money to spend or we have media reach or anything like yeah. that yeah that was a differentiator mm-hmm. and, and that's that, something you both saw, saw eye to eye on within fried chicken yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> like and it took us it took us i mean because i was working while we were doing this project for i'd finish work and then i'd meet her up uh mm-hmm. where we're gonna shoot in her place and then you decided not to <laughs> <laughs> that would have uh, been cute yeah, yeah we can do it later i have a question how did you guys meet uh we met through a mutual friend uh he one of my best friend yeah, yeah. um and najla who are best friends uh he was uh, he had just opened up sierra which was like a mexican restaurant and he needed a pastry chef so um our friends put us in contact and it was love at first sight it was cute mm. yeah. honestly i mean i wanted to avoid pastry <laughs> at, like i don't want to do pa- I, i'll only do pastry if i have to i'm glad you guys went into chicken because Same. that chicken sandwich for those of you who haven't tried it go it try is, it you have to go try it because pause it the episode really right now <laughs> go try pause it, it. Go, leave go get or do it, eat it while you're watching this <laughs> yeah yeah I yeah it really Lots is like a chicken sandwich a good chicken sandwich and you can feel that it's made by chefs <laughs> that's the thing it's Thank not you. Seriously, that, fast that, food. Right, it's not it doesn't taste like it tastes like the perfect chicken sandwich yeah. like, if you were to fantasize about the perfect chicken sandwich it's that and yeah. it, it like you guys didn't compensate with like the sauces and no. everything else like all the ingredients are there for a reason like i i felt like everything made sense about the sandwich it was so good thank, thank you. you so much too yeah. you have to try the rest we have to try everything else. hot and the cozy yeah yeah the cozy's gone. I, and, no, the, the and the milkshakes gone. the cozy's, the cozy's gone. gone you guys the cozy's yeah. gone <gasps> they're breaking our hearts today because those two those like that, that's a <laughs> limited time offer so that's an lto okay so we don't get bored i mean the menu is pretty small yeah but just for us not to get bored and for like customers and guests <laughs> not to be bored that's the only thing that we can really play with is like releasing limited time offers okay. that we feel are so like would you custom this is so specific <laughs> you can tell i'm bu- bummed out i'm so bummed that the apple pie milkshake is gone and the cozy gone. would you like if a, if a customer was a huge fan and they were like oh can you like actually do you do you do catering right not now, yet no. okay not if yet. a customer was like i'll pay you like ten thousand kd <laughs> i mean 10, are you willing to do that mia yeah. <laughs> no i, I not yet <laughs> but is like know, if a person is a no, loyal customer if would i you was to get married one day and i needed catering and i was like i'll give you x amount of money if you guys do this would you do it Damn, would you, you guys really like the cozy huh yeah <laughs> i love it yeah so and, it's and not because it's not because of the man you're thinking of marriage because of the cozy yeah, yeah like, she's gonna yeah, get married yeah. just so she can have <laughs> her <laughs> catering <laughs> i i'm very specific and i'm not thinking about marriage right now but the, whatever I think of marriage, it's I don't know who I want to marry. I know what food I want. You know, I know the now vibes. I feel that yeah. the music. <laughs> you know, like the party itself. I'm, I'm like, I'm down with. I the mean, party. get married to your friend, get, and then just throw a party, get divorced. Just, yeah, <laughs> this, I just have to find a, a volunteer. You know, <laughs> for the party. Who would want a volunteer? <laughs> Any <party>? volunteers? <laughs> for you get comments on that. Uh, uh, on what? Do you get comments like, "Hey, are you single?" Or yeah. That stuff? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then reach out. Yeah, it, it de- if they're no, no, let's not open that if, door. If they're willing to pay ten thousand for Birdie's catering, we we can talk. Call me. Yeah. If Sign it's ten thousand for Birdie's catering, mm-hmm. let them hit us up. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Well, no uh, if you need I'm anyone so to taste, if you want taste testers, we're, you know we're here. Yeah. You guys. So, when is it gonna be Shisma? We said on the 29th we We're dropping it. Twenty ninth. Yeah. Try on the <laughs> Damn, I was not no, expecting that. Because no. like, anyway, it's it's that's in seven days. That's in a week. Yes, yeah, we have the event on Sunday. <laughs> All right. Would you come on the 29th and try it? They wanted. They wanted. They wanted early we access. We wanted. We wanted early access. That babe, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> That is that. The same day as everyone, like do, a commoner. We should do a social uh, collab on the sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> a social, what's a social collab? Like for socials, like social media. We'll do a video like of Instagram. us trying the. <laughs> Try it. I would for the that. grams. I would love that. <clears throat> All right. We'll have your people call our people to so the group chat. <laughs> <laughs> Who's <laughs> our 
our people is just us calling them. <laughs> your <laughs> people, calling them. your <laughs> people are us. Okay, <laughs> <if you're> just- <laughs> I'll just call Zayn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, let's get into the conversation. So we're going to start off with this common perception of working with friends. Mm. Oh. So obviously there is this stigma, stigma. that working wow. with your friends is bad. Yeah, we <laughs> know <laughs> words. <laughs> we're actually one brain. <laughs> right now, we share one brain cell. <laughs> Stop, because the people that hate us really say that. <laughs> um, anyways. I was going to say Down syndrome joke. <laughs> <laughs> So we're gonna get taken down. No, no. Um, no. Yeah, but so basically, yeah, there is a stigma that people are like, don't work with your friends, or working with your friends is bad. It's always gonna lead to an argument, or it's gonna end up like ruin the friendship, basically. Ruining, yeah, the friendship. Um, but obviously, you guys are best friends, and you work together, and we are best friends, and we work together, allegedly. <laughs> so, how do you feel, guys, feel about that? Do Just to you- be clear, we're not married. Yeah, just to be clear, we're not married. We're not in a situation. Too. We're not. I think we're in a situation. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think about. You think we're in a situation? That's how I'm, like, I'm not married to you, but like our relationship is like <laughs> intense. It is intense, at best it's like yeah, it can be intense, but it's also beautiful. Like I feel like the the times we do get along and like agree, definitely make all the hardships and the arguments and the fighting and the screaming <laughs> worth it and there's because definitely a lot of screaming also it's arguing. like i don't think you should work with it's not a friend or not a friend you should pick who you work with yes and if it mm. if it makes sense that one of the people that you want to work with is a friend that shouldn't stop you to work with them yeah, yeah. absolutely i yeah. mean I, I i don't know why people say that because literally all my friends uh are people that i met at work and i work great with them and but, but I know that it's not for everyone. Like not everyone's. Able I don't think to you do. should work with all your friends. Not yeah. every friend is someone you work with. Yes. Best yeah, and you. It made sense. I'm not working with Nofa because she's my best friend. We were we're working together because we there are some stuff that we that we have in common that makes sense to open a business together, and it happens to be that we're best friends. As yeah. Well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he, the same thing with our third partner. He's not working with us because we just love the guy and he's great. No, it's because it makes sense for his position to be with us. Shout out Mish. And shout out Mish for real. <laughs> but see, any, like, because we think of all your other friends that you have, you wouldn't work with all your other yeah. friends. Yeah, I as wouldn't well. even travel with all my friends. Like, yeah, not works. every friend no, 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 you can no, no, travel no. with. Absolutely. I think it's the same with work. If if we get along, it's great. But if we can communicate in a way that's like effective as coworkers. That's like that's the yeah. key thing. It's clear communication, and then I think you should you should be comfortable having financial conversations. Yeah, uncomfortable yeah. conversations. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, uncomfortable financial for me is a key one because it's خلاص now we can remove مثلا يعني when the way we speak in front of like uh, our staff or whatever uh, the guys in the kitchen is not the same as when we well يعني I guess not totally the same as when mm-hmm. we talk in private or like at home mm-hmm. or stuff like that. Then now there's going to be some conversation that we're going to have that is a business focus, that's financially yeah. focused or about does this work for the brand? Does this not work for the brand? Stuff like that. That will be uncomfortable. That will have us argue or fight. Best. We just want to, we always remind each other and that's the same goal. We have, like you guys, for example, whatever the goal is, you guys have the same goal. Yeah. Yeah. So we're both working together on the same thing. So it doesn't matter if, my method is different or her method is different. Yeah. We're both trying to achieve the same uh, goals. Yeah. Fa- and we, as long as we, I think we trust each other that mm-hmm. we're not like f***ing each other over and that decision, I think it should be fine. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're going to get into the challenges uh, of working with your friends in a bit, but I want to know, was there any doubt from the beginning of from any of you like where you were like, oh, this is going to be tricky working together or no, you guys were just like, let's go. From the beginning, yeah. I didn't feel any From doubt. It felt, it felt really right to me, honestly. Yeah. And I felt like it was long overdue because we've been wanting to work together for so long. Mm-hmm. So when it finally happened, it's like, yes, the ball is, uh, ball is finally rolling. Let's go, let's go, let's mm-hmm. go. But there are those days where it just like literally happened last week where I just looked at him and I'm, I was like, did we make the right decision? Are we doing this right? 
is this is this how it's supposed to be am i supposed to be feeling this way and he was just giving me a pep talk and like with him also like three weeks a month before he was feeling the same way mm. and i was trying to make him feel better so there yeah. are those hardships of it's course so relatable but, right yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah you switch turns where like one of you is like really down and yes. like doubtful and yeah. then the other one's like no, i think no, no. if we're both down together we're oh my god oh my god yeah <laughs> 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 Is well, it? Yeah, yes, that like, has. That has. Oh my has? god, that was a horrible day. Has it ever happened no. to us? We, we well, I was in the and car. Not, not. I mean, no, we're, we're still new. Yeah. So, <laughs> but no, not yet. Oh yeah, that that's yeah. Any, we had. Uh, we'll tell them about. Yeah, that. well, she should say that. Yeah. I mean, before we opened. Nightmare. Just before I say that, anyone that opens uh, a restaurant because they think it's cool, or they think it's fun and an easy way to make money, please fucking don't. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's on period. That's on period. Yeah. And uh, it, um, other than it removes uh, uh, opportunities for people that really want to do it, uh, you're you're just wasting you're wasting your time, wasting people's time, and so on. And then mm-hmm. when we were opening the restaurant, right before we opened, I think five days, five or six days before we opened, five days. we had four four guys in the kitchen with us. Uh, we lost three. Oh wow! Mm-hmm. Uh, three what do you mean you lost three? Like they just walked out? La la. So uh, we work with the head hunting company. Okay. Uh, that does as much as it can to do its due diligence and making sure that these people are fit to work for uh, for the job that you're looking for. It ended up being that three of them had three different reasons. For not being able to join. One of them can Iqamta can Tajir Iqama, which is the most disgusting type of human being you can be in. You're mm-hmm. you're you're trading on human lives. And it's, yeah. That's a that's a that's a piece of shit, to be honest. That's no there's no other way of saying it. Then the two other guys, their visas couldn't work. Oh. Just uh, we couldn't and we we've been spending like a month training them yeah six weeks training them and that was a big part of our budget because we were spending a lot on food because it's a qsr so a restaurant's a quick service restaurant that's mostly on delivery and pickup and stuff like that but it has a lot to do about being able to do consistency very quickly like it's all about timing and and we wanted to hit some targets and and timing so that's what we were doing for a month training them and because the guys were way underqualified, I think, so we spent more time training them. Mm. We lost the guys five days before we opened. And we're like, shit. Like, we we're, were fucked. Yeah. We're like, yeah. you know, what the hell are we going to do uh, to get people to come that quick? So we started interviewing people and we tested them in a way that personally, I don't think either of us have tested people before. The style of interviewing any. And then we got amazing. Like I don't know how it happened, but we found the three amazing guys. They were four. Now they're three. Yeah. Best uh, pay them a bit more, and they're great. You know, they say their asses so honestly. Such God's And our staff right now, they're they're amazing. And then the, we had a conversation about you, and you were like, "I don't think we should go into it that much." I know I'm not gonna go into it that yeah. much. Yeah. Best the whole idea of like human, like people not realizing how human this industry is because yeah. they just are so disassociated with mm. what food is because it gets delivered to you packed and whatever and everything is filleted and everything is um you don't kind of you like people are disassociated with the whole process of how food is made for people should always remember that like there are great people that are working their asses off daily that are not doing podcasts or going on media and stuff like that that are the bigger reason why food is being done daily. It's yeah. not because of the head chefs or the owners. It's because of the guys that don't get thanked. Yeah. Those are the ones that are much more important. Well, shout yeah. out to those guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Every you. fucking day. Yeah. yeah, every day. <laughs> There's like a lot of, I think, references in pop culture of best friends working together. You know, like we have like two broke girls. Mm. We have, I mean, Mary Kay and Ashley, like they're yeah. sisters, but you know, like, Yes, they're twins, but sometimes you we you just see them as like two girls that own a brand. You know, they own. The they're, yeah, they're 
one of the most successful ones. Yeah. And that's yeah. like the epitome of working together. There's also like Ant and Deck for our, you know, Do you guys British know Ant and Deck? Those are British. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so it's like they're, they're co it's, There's a lot of famous, I think, twosomes that we see. What are the magicians called? Pen, pen and Teller. Okay. Sorry. I don't know. Who? <laughs> Penn and Teller. I mean, there you go. An extra That's like, probably they like have a, a Vegas show. Duo. They're like magicians or whatever. <laughs> Apparently, they're not that niche. I heard about them oh, a few really? days ago. Oh, really? I don't really? know, well, I don't know what rock we've been yeah. living under. We don't know them. <laughs> doing it for like 20 years. They're magicians. <laughs> you know David Copperfield? Of course. Okay, so enough of that guy. Okay, okay, okay. Our favorite Chris duo Angel, Mind Freak. <laughs> 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 I, thought, I, thought that, I thought that guy was real. <laughs> he was the only one that I thought was like, Damn. Wait, wait. What do you mean? Like, I thought I. <laughs> I feel like Santa's about to be ruined for me right now. And no, it was like he, the. You mean the tricks? You thought they were real? Because he walked on water one time. And yeah. I'm like, it's all it's illusions, babe. What? <laughs> huh? What's the illusion? He's walking on water. They do uh, things uh, to. He, like, he had pillars in the water that yeah. reflected the water and whatever. Guys, please don't ruin Chris Angel my <laughs> <laughs> It's very important. Anyways, other than ruining Chris Angel for Mia. <laughs> I think our favorite duo is is obviously Paris and Nicole. Yeah. Oh my god, I couldn't stop thinking about them when you were talking right. about it. But that, Iconic. Nice. I grew up on a simple life. Oof, same. <laughs> but what a problem though, because when you're like a young child watching The Simple Life, I don't know what we're learning. <laughs> I don't know. Nothing. <laughs> Is and everything. that's the beauty of it. <laughs> Nothing and everything. <laughs> is Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson considered a duo? No. No. Stop no. pressure, Ring B. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that? I Jackson love that song. Five? Jackson 5 is all of them. They're five. They're, They're five. five. Yeah. Actually, I'm not a duo. She was shitting on me because I don't know Janet Jackson that well. But she said I'm missing out. You are missing out. Just, just listen to That's the Way Love Goes. Mm. Just watch the leave. Super Bowl with Justin Timberlake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That ruined her career. Yeah, that was his fault. That's, that was Justin's fault. Yeah, it was. Huh? Justin yeah. ruined so many women's careers. Yeah, he really did. Fuck that guy. Anyway. <laughs> Wait. Anyways, child. Wait, what right. did he do? Okay, uh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> That's a conversation for after the show. <laughs> never mind. Um, but let's get into the challenges of working with your best friend. What? Uh, let's finish the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it's just, I think people historically have loved uh, a working duo you know we we love to see it on tv we love seeing friendship we love seeing friendship work and we love seeing we are entertained sort of by friendship so i think the fact that you guys are both on the forefront of birdies it's it's quite exciting you know it's a nice experience to go somewhere and see two people collaborate on something that they love you know so yeah i think that's yeah that's we, quite an appeal it was important for us to for it's like uh other than like a banding thing and uh, we're the first i i was really excited to do it because from from a chef's perspective it's very hard to give two chefs the same responsibilities yeah. because mm, it really yeah, is any, other than people having egos chefs have bigger egos mm. and i know i want to take the kitchen or she mm, wants to mm, take mm, the kitchen mm. or whatever but it was really cool for us and i think it's a great way to show people that it's better to collaborate not better but you can collaborate mm-hmm. and you can continuously collaborate here because we're a guy and girl and not everyone is accepting of the fact that that's why a lot of people ask if we're married because mm. it's like you know, if you're working together and you're this close and whatever you sh- mm. you ha- you must be married mm. for we're not so <laughs> fucking get it uh i think it's cool to have that conversation mm, to and uh, like it's fine that I, we're a guy and a girl mm-hmm. and we're best friends and we work together and we do have a close dynamic and it's it's not romantic and it's actually yeah. very fruitful. For, that's why I think it's cool here in this like in this culture to have a duo like that. Yeah, yeah you, you, your guys' energy is very brother sisterly. Like it's mm. it's it's very sweet to see and that's a comment we get a lot. People ask if we're sisters or cousins. Or cousins yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> Most people think we're sisters. Even yeah. when we're out of the shops. Like the waitress, the cashier. Yeah, we get asked that a lot. Literally, like, are you guys sisters? Just how your energies bounce off of yeah. each other. It's I think because you guys spend a lot of time with each other. Fat, it's kind of... Yeah. I mean, that's something we're going to get into where yeah. we do feel like sometimes because we work together, like the nature of our friendship, we work together and we're best friends. So sometimes when we spend a lot of time together, we kind of merge. <laughs> and then Ooh. we're like, okay, I need to be an individual Ooh, person uh-uh. right now. <laughs> Yeah, and, and it's annoying because you guys know you're best friends and you're co-workers. So you spend more time than normal normal person would, you know? Mm-hmm. 
yeah. we most of the time we don't see each other on Sundays. Yeah, and it feels weird. Like mm. I missed you. Mm. I didn't see you yesterday, mm. and I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that I think brings us to the challenges of working with your best friend. I want to start off with like communication issues, because yeah. <laughs> obviously, like I feel like the most important thing, especially when you're working with your friend, you have to communicate. you have to communicate. We communicate a lot. Too much, too <laughs> a little too much, but I think that's what it's necessary. Yeah. yeah, and that's what I like. We have these conversations all the time where we're like, "This is what makes it work." Where we work together and we're best friends because we're constantly communicating. And yeah. when we don't communicate, we felt the repercussions. Yeah, there's of like that. a disconnect. Yeah. You know? How many times mm-hmm. do you guys shoot a week? Oh my god! Sometimes once a week, sometimes twice a week. Two to three. I and think then how many hours. times does it take to prepare to like? Per episode, other than us, us was a month, but someone else. <laughs> no, it depends because yeah. we, like we've had people who like would it would take like a week, two weeks, a mm. month. Like it just it varies. Mm. It depends. And you guys communicate like is it is it a week of you guys being together and research and stuff like that? Well, is it? Uh yeah, like we do. Or is uh, it scheduling mostly? It, it's a lot of scheduling it's a lot of planning and brainstorming as well like the topics we research the topics um, and if we're on the phone we're doing it together but then even when we're, we're off the phone we're each doing something individually yeah. okay yeah. for you guys spend together. yeah, yeah, I need yeah. but also i mean like communication in terms of like let's say like something happened that like bothered one of us mm. we we open about that and and then we're always like constantly checking in with each other to see like how our like mental state is at yeah because we're moment. we're not we're very different i mean we're similar but we're also very different yeah i i don't like to address things usually she's like to whatever let it go but i can't because i'm gonna see her tomorrow for work and usually if i'm tired of something or she's tired of something we don't have to see the person but we yeah. have to see each other because mm. we have to communicate even if we don't want to you know just no, to get I it out of the way we talk about everything before the day ends yeah but sometimes it does get a bit heated where it's just like okay let's just let it rest for an hour and we'll talk about it tomorrow yeah and we'll, an hour like have we ever done that until tomorrow yeah we have <laughs> Which one? wait have you parked like a conversation where you're like okay i cannot talk to you yeah, right now like, yeah it has Which uh, one? when when we were talking about traveling uh i have like one of my strengths is your strengths huh <laughs> yeah I mean, like it's like if we're in a conversation, I'm like, I'm going to just this one and that and one. And he can see how heated I'm getting and annoyed. <laughs> and, it's, and it's, it's like, why are you just trying to like that's piss what me off some off. more? Like, that, it's not, the, it's not like, even the topic anymore. It's that she knows I'm doing it. It's, it's, I'm, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> she's like getting pissed off thinking about it's because it. It's because she knows I'm doing you that. You know how to get under her skin? Like yeah, that. but her too, I think. You no, can. I don't do that to you. No, you don't, but you I know don't how do to. that. To you. I know how to, but I'm not going to do that to you when we're having an argument. I'm just more petty. Yeah, you are. <laughs> petty wop. You're a Sagittarius, right? Yeah. Th- that's definitely a Saggy thing. We're very, we can be petty. What's that be name? Petty. What's that nickname you gave me? I think Basul gave that to me. Petty, petty Wop. Petty Wop. Yeah. <laughs> what's his that. actual name? Fetty Wop. Fetty Wop. <laughs> 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 no, that. but you have to sort of like i think balance out like your professional and your personal boundaries you know like if you're annoyed with him at work you then it's hard to like not yeah. then bring that into the friendship like if we're filming and then tonight for example we had a dinner and something happened that i was like oh my god this is so annoying like it's hard yeah because that's mm. that's my you kind of have to switch yeah like yeah. okay that was for example like mia my co-worker and now it's me and my friend and we've had these conversations yeah. where i'm like okay i need me and my friend right now and not mm. my co-host yeah. i don't know if that's like is that realistic yeah i don't know if it's realistic to say like oh that's not us we're gonna i'm gonna close that and then I mean, obviously it depends on how, how intense deep or is, deep so. it like, is yeah imagine we just had a fight and just got just got heated and mind you we had to go to a meeting you know what i mean oh, we'll like, go to the meeting no no yeah like, keep like, the dirty or laundry like, inside, yeah. or like we had a, a bad argument just as uh co-owners and then our friends are sitting outside and we have to go sit with them and it just got we've heated. done that i mean yeah. we've, we coexist yeah, we do. We'll yeah. Do, that, like, do you, do you <laughs> switch? Like, if that happens, for example, and you go outside and hang out with your friends, do you act normal? Like, not try not to show them that? No, no, we'll just won't. We won't like talk. Yeah, we won't interact with each other. We'll we'll sit, no, no, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll like we'll sit next to each other. Like, let's say, Mathan, ask for water. You go ask for water. Ask for water. Can I have some water? I'll just do this. Yeah, he won't even look at me. <laughs> just, you know? If like, we yeah. did that, 
I think everyone in the room would notice. Yeah, and yeah. they do. Trust yeah. me, everyone in the room yeah. notices. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you don't care. You're like, I don't care. You're a gumbo. But, but we had a discussion like when we first started this, we were like, okay, we know that our friendship is always going to be the priority. Yeah. So if this ever starts affecting our friendship, like we're going to not obviously drop everything, but we're going to try to work on that first. It's always we'll going to take. Break. Yeah. 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 And that's happened uh, before. Um, but yeah, it is, it is kind of hard to navigate between like, okay, now we're coworkers, now we're friends. And then also the dynamic at work is obviously when you're working with your friend, it's fun, mm. but oh, you can't bitch the, about your, your coworkers. The, <laughs> you, Cause you want to, like, do everyone that's worked a job wants to bitch about their coworkers. You know? I'll bitch about, I'll, I'll yeah. bitch about, I'll bitch about him. him to him. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah that's <laughs> or I'll bitch about him to him and his friends or our friends or whatever. <laughs> and then be. come back and then, huh? yeah. best in the. Uh, I, honestly, every fight that we've had or like argument, not a fight, I don't want to say that, but in like as an argument, all included our personal lives. Yeah. Meshing with our professional lives. Yes. Mm-hmm. We ha- I don't think we've ever argued about work only. It's about how to mesh the things that we want to do personally as, it's because it's like, yeah, and you can't just say the trip story. Story time. So she has to go to one of our friends' birthdays uh, in March. So, mm-hmm. hey. uh, and I was like, that's too early, whatever. Anyways, uh, for her point was that, and you know I was going to go for a while, whatever. In my head, I get worked up quickly because in my head, I'm like, no, it's about work. It's always about work. And I don't switch my work mind off ever. He's uh, a workaholic. It's I, I like to, I like, I think it's important. Anyways. It is, it is. Uh, if, uh, that, like, nothing, that got into a heated conversation and that lasted till the next day. Yeah. Because next day, the first thing we did was talking. Mm-hmm. And then, rec- like, I think maybe last weekend, I got into an argument, so I get a boy here. That was like two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys are yeah, here. three days ago. Uh, three or four days ago. It's so like I get I'm like, what the? F-? I'm like, what? And I text How him. dare you hang I'm up like, on me? And I'm like, it's a kid, boy here. It's a shitty habit I have. <laughs> and I thought she was going to backpedal and she, and she just wrote, wrote E. Just that one letter. Ooh, I'm like, oh, and I bet you were burning uh, on yeah. his side. I feel like uh, <laughs> And I was on the way back, <laughs> and she's on the phone, and I kept on calling, calling, Did calling. You block him? Uh, no, I was on the phone with my sister bitching. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, I'm on a call. I said, I know. She's like, if you know, then stop calling. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I'm going to chill and drive as fast as I can to get there quickly and talk. <sighs> Before that, she called me, and we got it over. But that's like, it's always about meshing. Yeah. I think personal and professional. Profes- personally, we never fight. I don't think we ever fight personally and we never fight professionally. It's meshing it where Absolutely, we start arguing. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not detrimental. And I think we have, and you said about, you brought up something about uh, bringing, what would you guys say about like if it ever affects? Yeah. We'll, we'll take a step back from the podcast. You know? We always say in uh, like what we're doing is for us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If, uh, it doesn't make sense for us to back out because any. I'm doing part of it for me and for her, and I think Yanni, I hope so. <laughs> doing part of it for you and for me. Of course, yeah. I think it's quite different to our dynamic because our we don't really fight in our friendship. Like we have more work disagreements, yeah, than personal disagreements. Our friendship, like obviously, you tip with your best friend, like that's yeah. Mm-hmm. Like they're. I mean, crazy. we we have some, but like we mostly disagree, uh, like in work yeah. mode than we do in our personal but we kind of have a way like where you were like uh you want to say it no you say it <laughs> she's like she's like if i feel like you're really passionate about something because we do disagree a lot of times but she feels like if it means a lot to me like if it's deep to me she'll let it go mm-hmm. and uh, i think do i do the same yeah i think i do because the we're same. both the same stars and we're both fire signs we're both sagittarius we're both alpha girls and we, we both like, have a lot of water placement we yeah. both have water moves <laughs> we're, we're both also crying like we're either screaming laughing or crying you know there's just not really that much variety yeah. that, i don't know I what it. any of that means <laughs> <laughs> we need to find your rising and your moon i bet he's not a water moon no he's I doubt definitely it. not he's a water probably moon. like a double earth fire moon. yeah <laughs> really i think he can see I think earth. He has earth yeah yeah, yeah. I, I can see Taurus earth moon i like earth 
Yeah. yeah. I, like I feel like vibe. you're fire and earth. <laughs> yeah. I like that vibe. What's, what is that? So earth is like a Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Yeah. I'm a Sagittarius. You're no, yeah, but, but you're your rising moon and, your moon. and you're rising. Yeah. How the one I was born. Yeah. yeah. When and you where, were born you're born. And where you were born. I asked, I think Zeno asked me once. Like I think it was the morning. I don't what but what the okay. We'll do your chart. We'll do your chart after. Yeah. We'll we'll have conversations about your chart in the group chat. (laughs) (laughs) I don't like what makes me earth or what makes you what are you earth? I'm earth. I'm Virgo. What makes it earth? Wait. What are you? Are you a Virgo rising or just a Virgo? No, I'm a Virgo sun. sun. Okay. And, are you, are you uh, searching it right yeah, now? Yeah, Scorpio, no. right? <laughs> Scorpio moon and Scorpio rising. Oh yeah, that's why. That's what we bonded over. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's just so nice. I want to bond too. <laughs> no, but I feel like in there with this like Do thing. You know what time you were born? Asub Madri, I think six, seven. Okay, that's okay. We'll I find asked, out. I, I can have it on my chat. Okay. But I feel like in that you you'll always have. Some way to kind of explain it, you know. Mm-hmm. What I mean? yeah. yeah, and if I say, Mithila, like you're fire, fire, you're like, Oh, that makes sense. If I say I'm water, earth, you're like, Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Everything makes sense. No, sometimes you meet people and they tell you their charts, and you're just like, Really? That doesn't make sense. Mm. It doesn't I'll be up. more. You need Zeno for this conversation, mm. yeah. no, no, another, <laughs> yeah. another, another Sagittarius. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what were you saying about uh. We're both water, so, uh, moon, so, yeah, so we're basically we're we fight in the same way, you know, like and even the differences that we have, I understand. I know what ticks her off, and she knows what ticks me off, and we know when we're escalating. Like what I like the most, I think, with my friendship and my working relationship with Zena is when things start to escalate. One of us always is like, wait a second, let's take a step back, yeah. like you know, like w- there's always like a level headedness, and it's because we understand the other one so well, and I think that's what makes working with her honestly like a joy and being your best friend joys because yeah we're mindful of each other you know and if it gets way too heated i feel like we'll both be like okay let's kind of take a break yeah. and and i think because we're sagittarius we get over things oh God, like so, so fast. fast like i can go like to uh, 120 zero to 120 or 100 and then like it'll just last like five minutes and i'm like okay i'm okay i'm fine now well, i'm yeah, over it like, that, you know honestly i, mean? I think that. <laughs> That is the most important thing. Yeah, yeah. You cannot it's hold not a grudge. grudging. We over don't. It. Yeah, like, we don't hold it. Anyone that's done, it should really be done. There shouldn't be anything left over. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, otherwise it will affect your working relationship. It'll yeah. affect your friendship. Yeah. Like, there's no point. You can it's, in this kind of dynamic. You cannot hold a grudge, mm. whether it was personal or professional. No, that that's gonna destroy it. Yeah. yeah, and then that's like, I think you brought up something about like going to to a meeting. Yeah. And having like taking, or you're saying, and then like when we go to a meeting, do we bring that there? It should always be private. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's yeah. not. It's not. It's not great, and it's not. Again, it, it being professional or not, had if we're fighting, I don't think we've ever fought personally. Ever. Yeah, since we started working together, I can't. I don't. Well, I'm in bed. Well, like ever. I know what you mean. That's actually fucking great. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, do you do you guys um also like have this agreement where like there are things you don't tell cuz I'm sure you, you guys have common friends as well mm-hmm. or your mm-hmm. friend groups are like both your friends mm-hmm. group. Do you have this agreement where you're like okay, we don't talk work with our friends or there are things that you don't share with your common friends? Yeah. I have yeah, any one or two, but one specific one that like just yeah, any knows everything yeah. even about work. I think her too. Mm-hmm. But it's yeah. not, I don't think it's healthy to, how to, when you go to your friends, it's, everyone has, and for us, our job is our life, or our company, or in our restaurant, or whatever, is our life. Mm-hmm. And it's our whole life. Mm-hmm. But for them, they're coming back from work as well. It's not fair or right for us to say, because my my partners are your friends as well, let's just talk about yeah. my work. They're not mm-hmm. coming back and talking to me about, their boss and their colleague like it's a way yeah. to to escape work yeah and hang out with her. it's fun when everyone leaves their work and leaves their whole life that's like so busy and yeah. so like anally productive and you gotta be on it all the time and then you go to see your friends to kind of like relax yeah. but it's not yeah. fun to bring it Mm. Yeah, I mean, we and we unless we're trying to get advice or something from a specific friend, especially Mm -hmm. because we have a lot of friends who are in the creative field. So sometimes Mm -hmm. we will, but most of the times we are like, okay, what we have like as as coworkers is like between us. 
But we've also dealt with the issue of like, because we work together and our friends know that we work together, they've kind of like, which I touched on earlier, like they've morphed, mer- us, into morphed us into one. So they think like wherever one of us goes, the other has to follow. And they've kind of look at us as like one cohesive, like a unit or like one entity, which we are a cohesive unit, but like one entity in a way. And like, it really like bothers us. I don't know if you guys experience the same. Where it's like always expected that you guys like, are going to be together. Like we're to together tease. so often. I'm sure you guys experience that you're together almost every single day. Like people think like, oh, if he's going there, she's going to go there. So I'll just invite one of them and then we'll come along. And if there's an, almost like an expectation that if I'm going to a friend's house, Zinems are automatically invited. And it's like, no, you have to individually invite us. Mm-hmm. We're not actually one yeah, person, yeah. you know? I don't feel like it's expected. Yeah, any, you know, yeah. Ma- Madri, that's... That's not how I feel about us. I feel like we are both our own people mm. or our own persons. Look at us. <laughs> well, it's yeah. not so much as you feeling that way. Yeah. It's very much how your friends view you. And I don't think our friends view that either. Like, I think because we we do things separately. Yeah, we really we, do. Because we still see each other a lot. And then we're going to start. We're supposed to start working on Sundays too. Uh, for other work, Yanni. Yeah, so we try to have خلاص, and مثلا, she's gonna do something with the, these friends it's yeah. not I'm not any I won't feel like oh why am I not going and she's not gonna feel the same way and they're not gonna expect us to be together mm. yeah. I think you guys have the advantage of like the gender obviously I was gonna yeah. say it, I think boy girl yeah. is a different dynamic also because we're like girl girl yeah. <laughs> and uh, I think like we we did kind of make that mistake where we get like so excited because we love hanging out mm-hmm. with each other so sometimes like our boundaries are kind of blurred and um we did kind of have to work on our boundaries as well, well and we reset them i think all the time yeah like we find out oh this is fine i don't care like, yeah we have it. like check-ins with yeah. each other or like oh don't do that like, yeah it's it's you uh, talk to each other every day yeah but yeah. i like what you said like when you're like okay we're we're both gonna do our individual thing and then come back and which is something that we do as well yeah. been doing lately yeah, and if she says مثلاً, i have a dinner with some friends we we i what i th- yeah, and we've done this before we push each other to do things separately mm. yeah and i have an issue with not spending uh enough alone time i think and a lot of my mm-hmm. friends push me to do that so uh sometimes i really like i find like a pocket of like three hours or four hours on my chiller days and i'll call and she's like all right great chill alone mm, we, yani, yeah. we do do that if she's home and she's tired i'm like all right great chill I, you don't have to you don't have yeah. to go somewhere you don't have to come if i'm having friends over and she doesn't want to come i'm not like Ta'ali, you gotta yeah. come i'm like no great chill you're tired yeah it's because alone time really helps you recharge. Like, if you're not having alone time, you're just going to bring your darkness and your heaviness to your friends. Exactly. I'm Who in my alone era right now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Like, I think that's that's my biggest one. Personally, I, not as a duo. Not Ooh. having alone no, time? I, a lot of my friends say that I need it to recharge. Mm. And I think I recharge being with my friends. That's the difference between, I think, an extrovert and mm. introvert. So uh-huh. mainly. I like being around my friends. Best, Annie. I think recharging. I'm I'm fine with having an hour, hour and a half before I go to sleep, and I just watch an episode of Yeah, in the House of Cards or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I think both of us are kind of like a mix. What is it? We're ambi- ambiverts. ambiverts. Yeah, because I w- love being around my friends, but then I would have moments where I'm like, I just want to stay at home. Uh, I don't uh, want to uh. see anyone. And it happens like every once in a. While. I'm having that moment. Usually, I'm always with people, but for the first time in my life. The past two months, I've started being like, oh, I need alone time. Like, I desperately need alone time. So I feel like, you know. Yeah. All right. What is the biggest challenge of working together? Spill the tea. I want juicy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the biggest challenge? Yeah. Throw him under the bus right now, no fee. <laughs> this is your opportunity. <laughs> I mean, off the top of my head. It doesn't have to be something bad, no, but like yeah, the yeah, biggest yeah. challenge. Yeah. Separating, uh, not not meshing person into, per- into okay. a professional. Mm-hmm. That's, that's a yeah. tough one. Yeah. That, that is a that's, tough one. That's, I think that's our... Amani Galdan, that's our only one. Yeah. And then how do you... Well, do you have like a strategy for overcoming that? 
Like, do you just have to be like, hey, let's have a talk right now? Like, mm. or do you have to take space? Space is like an hour. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. That's not even <laughs> physical space, Sarah, because we can't take the physical. We're working together. You're in the kitchen together. Okay. That's yeah. the problem when you're forced to be together and you're just mad at each other. Like, we were talking about it uh, yesterday. We were like, no, it kind of forces you to, like, hash it out then and there. Mm-hmm. there there's no choice. Like, you and have to. It's our to- first part, right? It's our first part. One new restaurant. Yeah. We don't have an office. Like, we're still a tiny, tiny place. For the most space we can take is that. Literally, she'll take one side of the bench and I'll take the other side of the bench. <laughs> it requires a lot of emotional maturity, honestly. Honestly, it depends. But f- m- for the most part, I want to say just half an hour, an hour. Aww. Yeah, just true. Yeah. Unless it gets like, really heated. Then yeah. it's, it's like, like don't talk to me till tomorrow. It's like, but it's like <laughs> quiet gesture. Yeah. yeah. And, no, and you don't take it personally. I think that's the important thing. Like yeah, where no, when you cute. argue and you're like, don't talk to me. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, do no, you no. get it? Like, yeah. do you take it personally? Or you're like, why does she not want to talk to me? If she t- no, no, I back off. Because yeah. <laughs> you uh, know. I'm sure you know. I you don't got scare her. Skin. She scares me. I don't think <laughs> I'm scared. Oh. No, you scare me sometimes. Really? <laughs> when you slam the <laughs> tables. <laughs> oh my God. No, I just have a thing with slamming. <laughs> but it's not at it. Wait, she's looking at me. I'm like, No, he doesn't do it towards me. No, no, no. No, he's just, he gets, when he gets mad in the kitchen, he gets mad and loud. Mm. And I just have. You take it out on you objects. Have anger issues. <laughs> <He does. laughs> no, I just. We'll I, talk just about that. I have a thing with. I've been. I mean, I was. Um, just so breaks up here, like just really hard on a surface that can take it, and that's it. Yeah. And then خلاص, and then I'll move on. Like what you say, Sagittarius, fire, fire, and yeah. I forget. Yeah. That's that's yeah. very. Uh, that's very us. Yeah, that's, that's very us. Trust. trust. <laughs> just I to be clear, I don't slam a table at her. <laughs> no, yeah, it's never direct, uh, directed towards me. You're, it's you're, just you're the green. You're the green. Me, like, being yeah, angry in the kitchen. Do you guys have like clear roles and responsibilities, or is it kind of like play by ear? Because you're both ear? chefs, you know. Yeah. Like, um. I think we just divide the roles. I love to work. He really does. I He's love insane. It. He's insane. That's that's uh, another thing. I think I try to, Methelen, if she's doing something, and she's in charge of something, and I feel like in, uh, oh, she didn't finish in 15 minutes, and it could be done 15. I'll, I'll ask him, like, hey, do you want me just to kind of do this too? So annoying. And she's like, no, I, I have it, and I'll do it. And I'm like, are you sure? Because I have nothing. Like, I, I have 10 minutes. <laughs> On my hands, like if you want me to. He wants to it. do everything. Fa- yeah, that that. Take it. it and run with it, Nofa. I do. <laughs> Most part, I do, but like, also, it's not fair, you know. Like, it's it's fifty fifty yeah. technically yeah. in the kitchen, so I I can't look at him do most of the things and just let him do it. I can't feel bad, you know what I mean? So <laughs> it has to be divided. It has to be fair. Yeah, I mean, we uh, do you feel like we struggle with that? I mean, sometimes yes, mm. but we we tend to like um like talk about it where we're like, okay, I feel like I have a lot on my plate. Can you take this? Or it's, sometimes it's instinctive, like mm. where it's gotten really instinctive. Yeah, it's it got very instinctive. Instinctive where she's like, okay, you have this, this, this on your on the table right now, so I'm gonna do take this. the yeah. like whatever part. And then it's, there are things we kind of do together, and we kind of know our strengths. So we're like, okay, this is yeah, your strength, so you do that. This mm. is my strength. I'm gonna do this. That's the thing is, the more you work together, the more I think you guys realize, oh, he's naturally better at certain things, so he could just take them, and yeah. it's not even a conversation anymore. Yeah, mm. I think bad convers like you're definitely more organized. Mm. She's, She's a Virgo. She has to be <laughs> She's yeah. more organized in the sense of like in the list and stuff and. We anywhere we're method we're making a recipe. This last year and this last thing so when we're R and Ding, I like to R and D without writing. Mm. So I always like to work making uh, if we're making something, I like to make it without writing anything, tasting it, figuring out the flavors and how we're making something. And then we'll do it again with numbers. Mm. She likes to write numbers from the get go. For Anam, I don't do that. With uh following up i think if she's like if there's a problem solving thing you'll do it better and then if it's the last straw i i do it better yes yeah yeah and i'm more aggressive yeah i think i like if it's if it's something needs to get down uh, done now and if it's a partner or a supplier or someone that's like late or we need to get something now something done now something like that i'm the bad cop 
good yeah. cop, bad good cop. cop. Oh, we cop do have our moments where yeah. we do play a good cop, mm. bad cop. And I'm very comfortable with yeah. yeah, but I, I think that's the the most rewarding thing about working with your best friend is that you learn so much about them, and you feel like the more time you like work together, you're kind of like peeling like another layer. Yeah. And for real, yeah, yeah. And, and you yeah. get to know them in a way that most people yeah. actually won't, you know? Yeah, like, that's so true. Yeah. yeah. Like, you have a lot of trust. And there's that's the, that's what I was going to say, that there has to be a lot of trust. Oof. And I feel like that also trickles into the personal. So then you start trusting, like, that person like no one else because yeah. you're so intertwined in each other's lives. Do you guys have a common vision? Yes. Yeah. With something like, is it for you guys, is it a podcast only? Or do you guys want to have a podcast and build... We want to build. We definitely want to build. Yeah. Feather, and you guys have a common vision. It's the exact. Yeah, same that's vision. why we work yeah. together because we have the exact same vision. We've we've had the like same desires before we met each other, and then when we met, we're like, okay, yeah. this has to happen. And the fact that it happened so easily and smoothly and and fast, like when we got together, like it was just further proof that it was meant to Everything be. Everything in my life fell into place. Yeah. That's that's very romantic. Yeah, okay, it's so beautiful. <laughs> we romanticize our friendship all the time. Yeah, we, do. <laughs> but we do have that. We have the same exact vision. Like our vision is exactly like we have the same exact vision. Hatha, when we bring up random stuff that we want to do later, later on, it ends up being the same thing. Yeah. For just doing step by step, exactly what needs to get done to get to those yeah. like those long term goals. It boosts your creativity, I feel like. Yeah. like mm. Because it feels so good that you're doing it with your best friend. You celebrate your success yeah. with your best friend. Is there anything better? There really isn't. The idea of like you bringing up the first question and the people saying you shouldn't work with your best friend, I think you should work with people you trust. Yeah. So if they th- say that you don't, sh- you shouldn't work with your friends, then... Because wh- I, I don't... Th- I'm not, wor- not party friends or... Mother, and if, if it's a proper friend... Yeah. And you trust them, you should work with them. Yeah. That's the best I mean, thing. You really have to kind of reflect, are you someone who's able to work with your friend? Are you someone who's going to be able like because it's it's not for everyone. And like you said, like you also have to assess that friend that you're trying to work with. Yeah. If they're going to be like. If uh, they're a flaky friend, are they going to be a flaky coworker? You know, it's, yeah. it's that simple. Oh, mm-hmm. we have that comment. Not about us, about other friends. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, uh, we. Our previous guest asked you guys a question, and then we're going to need you guys to ask a question for our next guest. Okay, we ca- that's fun. The, 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 we don't know who the next guest is. You don't know who the you next don't guest know. is. And we can't know who the previous one was. Nope. nope. Then off camera, I'll ask you. <laughs> <laughs> so the question from our previous guest is, if you were invisible, who would you stalk? You go first. You think you know my answer? Yeah. <laughs> I really want to hear this. Who do you think I'd say? Go, go, wait. No, no, I really want to hear this first. From Beyonce. No. Really? Yeah. I hope so. You have the talent. I, I, Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it. I was like, who am I kidding? Of course I want to stop Beyonce. <laughs> I was like, you don't know me. You think you know me. Actually. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's such a good answer. <laughs> right? What? Yeah. What? I would want to know. Yeah, <laughs> I want to know. I want to be there so from perfect. like the moment yeah. you yeah. sleep to the morning you wake up. <laughs> also, I wake up. Yeah. But it's just talking, like that you can't, like, method and no, have no, no, dinner. No, 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 you're invisible. Like, if you if you talk, it's fucking crazy. Like, yeah. It's so scary. <laughs> exactly. And you're stalking someone. Who would you stalk? I don't want to go with music. No, you can go with anyone. An ex? <laughs> no, I don't see any of them ever again. <laughs> Your parents? Dead or alive? Why? <laughs> Is it yeah, dead or alive? Dead or alive? Um, alive. Alive. Okay. Right yeah, alive Beyonce. I might go with Kendrick. Oh. oh. I don't want to go with music. But I would. I really want to see what Kendrick up to. Wow. Yeah. Cute. Yeah. All right. Well, we have Beyonce and Kendrick. Or I feel like you. Yeah, I, I, know I, I know there's I know there's something those, else. Yeah. I have three answers. Okay, give them all. Kendrick. Adele. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say Adele. And if I'm um, yesterday, I was listening to "To Be Loved." <laughs> cruising around, listening to "To Be Loved." I could imagine you singing it. Oh, I can't. What? 
Kendrick Adele. Who's the third? Yeah, who's the third? Uh, the third was Jessica Alba. I just don't know why that just goes <laughs> to my life. Really? <laughs> Sheikh Bari, Jessica, Jessica Alba. Alba. That's such a vintage reference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's because I was thinking really hard and then I'm like, what's up with Jessica Alba? <laughs> what's Jessica Alba up to? All right, what is your question no for the next guest? No chef answers nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no Barefoot chef? Barefoot Contessa would be, wow. Oh Anna oh, Garten. I was gonna say Bourdain, but she, they said yeah, no, they no said daddies. yeah, yeah, no daddies. I think you should switch <laughs> just Kalba. What? I think you should switch just Kalba. <laughs> I think you should switch just Kalba too. Best Kendrick. Okay. Yeah, I'll say it's just Jessica down. <laughs> Jessica Alba. All right, all right. What is your question for the next guest? Why haven't they been to Bourdain? <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. Yeah. Uh, all right. No, I that's not. That's, no, that's that's such a terrible question. Okay, but maybe in, maybe they have. What if they girl have? or guy? Doesn't, we don't know. It doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. We can't tell you. Come up with a better question. That's a horrible question. I keep looking at the no. elephant, and I have an elephant question for tomorrow. No fat. We need you. If you were to get a tattoo, what would you get? All right. Love that. All right. Well, thank you guys for being here. This thank you so much for having chat. us. We'll thank see you guys, guys at Birdie's Chicken Shop. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to harmonize the? Do you say bye harm in harmony? Do you no? want to? I feel like yeah. you want to. <laughs> we <laughs> could do it for you. Okay, wait, wait. Don't forget uh, to like, comment, subscribe, leave a review. Up. If you don't leave a review, that's five stars. We will find you and we will beat you up with fried chicken. <laughs> All right, you guys. And review us on Google for five star <laughs> reviews. <laughs> and order birdies or go I've, and eat I there. keep on telling people to review us when they come to dine in. I'm like, I try to be nice. I'm like, guys, no, no. Everyone says, yeah, yeah, we will. You can't say, people. the no, no, no. be like, no, review no, us now in front of us. And you get 10% off. Give them 10% off. 10% off your order. 10%? 10%? All right. Okay, you guys, we're out. Let's do the harmonized buy. You ready? Bye. Bye.